All right, so today we're going to be talking about something that may be a little bit controversial for whatever reason. You know, it's kind of one of those things that it's very, very important. You know, this is the thing is that you have a baseline, all right, which is where we came from evolutionarily, which is in our genes, which is in our cells, which is deep rooted, things like having your blood flow without you even noticing, having you, your heartbeat, just making sure that it's pumping blood, you breathing, your cells are dying and they're being reborn as we speak right now. There's things, there's cognitive skills that are just innate. And one of them is actually survival. And within survival, there's a difference between a man and a woman, okay? I said it, it's crazy, I understand it. Today, it's more getting back to the, say you could use the words masculinity, you could use the words man, you could use whatever you wanna use. The reason I bring up masculinity is because that was essentially the energy, not anything tangible, but the energy that was exuded out of a man for millions and billions of years, in other words, there needed to be a role that a man played, okay? Obviously, back in the day, if you really want to get back to it, it was, it was serving and protecting the tribe, whether he had a spouse or whatnot. Not, obviously, they didn't have spouses and marriages. That's something that we put on top of, you know, a man and a woman's relationship and things like that. But in today's modern age, okay, there's a lot of things that need to come back. Okay, number one, the first thing is discipline. You know, I've talked about it for eons. Discipline, as Jocko Willick says, discipline equals freedom. So what does that mean? Discipline on you improving yourself, you eating correctly, you going to the gym, you making more money, you bettering yourself, discipline equals freedom. There's an incredible book, um, it's over there. It's probably one of the better books that you're ever gonna read. It's about the resistance that you're gonna get before you do any kind of discipline. And that resistance is inside, and that resistance essentially is your ego, okay? The book is called The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield, and highly recommend you guys go check it out. But essentially, anytime that you wanna do something, you're gonna feel resistance. Resistance to making videos, resistance to, say, like I said before, going to the gym, or eating correctly, or approaching that pretty girl, or asking somebody out, or asking for a raise, or negotiating, or anything uncomfortable, anything that you haven't done before. You know, there's tons of athletes and stars, whether it's a performer on stage, whether it's a musician, and they always say, uh, at least the better ones, is that they, feel the fear and they do it anyway. They feel this innate just desire to not get on the stage and start performing. They just have all these, they have the resistance. And then they get on the stage and they feel natural. And that's the exact same thing is that the discipline of doing it consistently every single day, that brings the freedom. The freedom, as I just literally spit on the camera, the discipline of doing calls every single day, the discipline of going to the gym every single day. If I do calls every single day, I'm gonna make more money. If I go to the gym every single day, I'm gonna have more energy. My body's gonna be better. I am gonna be healthier. That's the thing is that that is up to you. No one is gonna do this. No one is gonna be right next to you when your alarm goes off and says, you know what, let's get out of bed. This is the reason why. No, no one's gonna be there. It's only you versus the resistance. It's only you versus your mind. So the first one is discipline on yourself. The second one is discipline of others, okay? There's a massive amount of, of disrespect going on to, you know, not only just men, but I mean of, it doesn't matter actually which gender, but it happens, someone says something, someone does something, they're late, they disrespect you, and I'm not talking about online, I mean in person. You know, there, there's a couple things, I'll give you this one example, where you have to discipline others, okay? And I'm not talking about physical, and I'm not talking about verbal sometimes, you need to pull them aside, whether it's someone underneath you, whether it's a friend, a friend makes fun of you and you don't really like it, you know, he, I'll give you two examples. The first one is one of my buddies was putting on a couple of pounds and, you know, I was poking fun at him and what guys usually do, and essentially he pulled me aside, not in public, but he pulled me aside and he said, hey, listen, man, you know, I know we're, we're having fun and everything, but if you could just ease up, it's an insecurity that I'm having right now. I'm like, all right, that's cool. In other words, he didn't let it happen. He felt the need to actually discipline me, not like, as you can see, it was just kind of just that conversation. Hey man, you know, listen, and it's not public, it's just private. Here's the other one. I was at Whole Foods, the woman to my left, tourist, I'm in New York City, it's in Times Square, and the woman, she's, I don't know, trying to, you know, I, I, it sounded like she was speaking Mandarin and to her husband, and she was trying to get coffee, and the woman behind the counter was just, she's like, what do you, what size? Do you want milk? And the woman doesn't understand. She has no idea what the, the register person is saying. So I told the register person, I said, ma'am, 
she doesn't speak English. That's clear. And the woman behind the counter, the register woman, was saying, just was getting so angst, was getting so excited. And the discipline of others, and I use the word discipline because that's essentially what it is. It's just you're saying, listen, you're out of line right now. You know, let's reel it back. It's not malicious. It's not physical. It's not saying anything to them. You're saying something about their character or their morality or their ethics. There's things that people do, whether you like it or not, that you need to discipline. If it's over time and your spouse is continuously late. You know, I, I was on this date and this girl shows up. She's 20 minutes late, never texts me that she's gonna be 20 minutes late. I start banging out some emails and everything else. She comes up, she goes, oh, what are you doing, work? And I turn around and I'm like, you're 20 minutes late. You never said anything. I was ready to leave. I was three seconds to leaving. And it was one of those things where I just said, listen, I don't appreciate that you're not on time. You know, a lot of guys, they're like, oh, she's pretty and everything else. No, I don't appreciate that you're not on time. She goes, well, this is just part of, this a cultural thing. No, no, that's fantastic. But with me, you gotta be on time, all right? You do it, you say it, and you leave it, all right? You don't bring it back up. Stop complaining is the third thing. There's too much complaining, there's too much bitching online, there's too many people that are just saying, well, it's this, or I wish it was, th it's not. Whatever way you want it to be, it's not. You wish you were richer, you, rich, you wish you had the spouse that you wanted, or the girlfriend that you wanted, or the money that you wanted, or it doesn't really matter, whatever it is. You wanted to be captain, or you wanted to make the team, or you wanted an A in that class. That's not what happened. Okay, this is, this is either negotiating one-on-one -on -one or sales one-on-one, -on -one, which is you see reality exactly how it is. There's a recession or there's a client that chose someone else. It doesn't really matter, but you have reality and then you work within reality, okay? If you try and change reality, you're just trying to change reality for your rest of your life. That's exhausting. There's a lot of people that I call and they don't wanna do business. Okay, so I'm trying to sell the unsellable. No, I move on. Reality is this person doesn't want to work with me. They want to work with someone else. Perfect. I'm in real estate. That's what I'm talking about. So when I make calls and someone's just not either calling me back or emailing me back, and this is over time, and I'm not saying don't follow up. I'm saying if you do your follow-up plan, which is over two weeks, two months, two years, whatever it is, and they're not looking to work with you, you just say, okay, great. Because all the energy that you're putting into that person, you could be putting into someone else, okay? Look at reality, stop complaining, stop trying to say it should be different. You either change the situation or you move on, that's it. Number four is start with small habits. A lot of people, they are trying to do this quantum leap. Quantum leaps don't happen very often. Okay, and I say that with obviously the asterisk, which is, oh, this person got really lucky. But when that person got really lucky and got that hit TV show, were they too young and they couldn't handle the fame and then they collapsed into drugs and something else? Or they, they got a ton of money like Mike Tyson and Kurt Schilling, the pitcher, they $100 million and $500 million and they blew it all bankrupt, things like that. 50 Cent had some financial problems. Start with small habits, minor small habits. Get off your phone. Get off your phone. Your phone is the worst thing that's gonna happen to you. If you get addicted to your phone, that's apps, emails, social media, doesn't really matter. If you get addicted to consuming, I'm not talking about creating, I'm talking about consuming content, that is taking up valuable time, especially in the morning. You have to be, going back to number one, disciplined to put your phone away, disciplined to put it on airplane mode, disciplined to say, during this time, as Cal Newport said in the incredible book, Deep Work, I'm just gonna be doing this. Or as, what's his name said in the one thing, this is the one, Gary Keller, the one thing, this is all I'm doing, okay? This one hour time block is when I'm writing or blogging or posting on social media, creating content for video or making sales calls or whatever the case is, researching, it doesn't matter. Whatever your one thing is, highly recommend you check that out. That's all you do. You're disciplined on yourself, discipline others. Listen, don't interrupt me. This is what I'm doing between nine and 10. Between 10 and 11, you got me. But between nine and 10 in the morning, don't disturb me, okay, moving on. Relationships, okay, this is one of the biggest things. I think I, I, I need to make a separate video about this, is that she's never gonna ask you out, okay? She's never gonna take your number and call you, okay? She's never gonna go in for the kiss, okay? And if they do, it's point, 5% of the time. I'm in New York City, I, there's aggressive women all over the place here in New York City. Fantastic, I love them, that's incredible. But not one time did I get my number out in the last 15 years 
and she goes, hey, how's it going? It's Sarah from the bar. No, she's never done that. Or we're on a date. There's only one time, literally in 10 years, where a girl has pro approached me and she's like, hey, listen, my friend's interested or I'm interested. That doesn't happen, okay? Stop complaining, going back to it. Stop complaining about what you, how you want it to be, okay? They're never gonna do any, and this is the thing. There's this mindset where I wish it was different or equality. Why don't they approach us? Why don't they pay for things? Why don't, listen, complain about it or do something about it. You can disagree, that's cool, that's fine. Well, while I'm out there and I'm not on the dating websites, I'm out there and I'm approaching a pretty girl that I find that's pretty and I just say, hey listen, I thought you're pretty, I think we should go out. No? Okay, cool. Yes, here's your, you know, give me your number. You know, that, that's the easiest way. I, literally the last thing is, when you take a loss, don't take it personally. Okay, there's a lot of people taking a lot of things personally. Everything is personal, you know, you get rejected. You know, someone doesn't call you back, whether it's a client, whether it's a friend, whether it's your parents, whether it's, it's a girl or a guy, they don't text you back in time. You're taking the L's. And the reason you're taking the L's and you're taking it personally is because you're not busy enough, okay? This is more of a smackdown. And the reason being is that there needs to be that toughening up. Really soft, really weak society for the men right now, we need to raise our game a lot, all right? Focus on yourself, improve yourself, Start going over these, discipline yourself, discipline others, stop bitching, start with small habits, get off your phone, relationships, she's never gonna do anything that says, I really like you, that's not, that's never gonna happen, she's never gonna approach, she's never gonna go in for the kiss, she's never gonna get your number, she's never gonna call you back, or call you if she gets your number, you say, listen, it, this is this is the role we're gonna play. I take your number, I call you, that's, that's what we do. If you wanna take my number, that's great, but I expect nothing out of it, you know, I wouldn't say it like that. But if you guys have any questions, leave in the comments below. I know this is kind of one of those videos that has to do with personal development. Yeah, I just see it all over the place and it's just, it's really bothersome. So if you guys have any questions, leave in the comments below, subscribe to the video. And of course, you guys are the ones that are actually running this content wise. So if you have anything that you'd want me to talk about, topics and everything else, also leave that below. And anything that I missed, I'm probably gonna have a part two based on all the questions and everything else that comes out of this one. Have an amazing day, talk to you guys.